and welcome back here. Nick Swisher Field at Bill Davis Stadium as Indiana takes game two of the series. Here, eight to two, the Hoosiers beating Ohio State behind eight runs produced from Indiana. Uh, story Storylines here, two home runs in the fifth inning for the Hoosiers. Uh, Ohio State got off to a good start uh, by taking a two-run lead in the third inning uh, behind the bats of the Buckeye order. But Indiana really finishing up as we saw a great play there in the left field from the Hoosiers defense. And Hoosiers defense playing very solid today, Miles. And you're right, Brandon. The Hoosier defense doing a great job as they always do, specifically in the pitching staff. You saw uh, you saw the pitcher, Kyle Hart, starting on the mound, doing a nice job until he was taken out. Uh, officially but, taken out with a but, forearm strain. But then Corson Carr coming in for the Hoosiers late in this game and finishing it off. Uh, but nonetheless, Indiana putting up an eight spot for the Hoosiers. Uh, they had three runs in the fifth inning, four in the sixth, and one in the seventh inning. Uh, but Ohio State, like I said, got it, getting off to a nice two-run lead. Uh, and then all of a sudden, Greg Reeve, the Ohio State pitcher, giving up shots, as you see it right there. Pat Porter going up in the right field wall and just able to, unable to come up to it. And then uh, the batter, two after that, getting another home run. So two Indiana home runs, and that would prove to be the game-winning run right there as Ohio State was unable to produce anything after that. Uh, so Indiana, eight to two winners, and this run also produced, uh, as you see, uh, the pickle going down between first and second base. A run was produced off of that. Uh, but Will Corson Carr, the man right there, and Tim O'Connor putting on a defensive display. Uh, but unfortunately for the Buckeyes, they just came up short in this game. Uh, as Indiana took the game two win, and these Ohio State Buckeyes and Indiana Hoosiers are going to take on uh, each other once again. And for Miles McQuinn, I'm Brandon Beam. Thank you for watching. Indiana takes this one 8-2. to two.